puts me in thoughtful repose. <laughs> I'll tell you why, just before uh, you joined us from whatever awesome thing you were doing, <laughs> I, uh, I don't need that. Why? I don't know why I even said that. <laughs> Look, anyway, before you, I, I was talking to the uh, warm-up comedian. We have to warm up the audiences here because they hate me. So, <laughs> so we warm them up using candy and sexual techniques from Europe. <laughs> For example, I can do one now. We can't show you it on camera, but watch this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. You heard the ladies scream, didn't you? Anyway, look, I was talking to the... <laughs> I was making a rude gesture, but it was off camera, so it doesn't count. I wonder if you get censored in radio if you do rude things, like, if, with your hands, because I'm doing something rude with my hands right now. Anyway, look, he said to me, we were talking about, you know, the fact that I, you know, I've changed my life in many ways. I've been sober for a long time. I don't do drugs. And he said, if you could go back to one vice, uh, what would you do for one day? And I said, oh, promiscuity. And then I thought, <laughs> is promiscuity a vice or just enthusiasm? <laughs> well, it depends on, on who it is and, and what you're up to. Look, I'm not advocating promiscuity. All I'm saying... No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> All I'm saying is, uh, I, I, I don't have many vices left, actually. <laughs> you know what they call that in poker? That's a tell. Yeah. That's when they say, I don't have any... I'm blinking, I'm touching my face. I'm like, I'm doing stuff. Yeah. People naturally assume that if you're sober, you don't go up to anything naughty. <laughs> That's not the case. What happens is you become more efficient. <laughs> <laughs>